Mambo vipi? I hope uko fresh lakini pia karibu Dizim Updates. Bana leo ni siku nyingine tena lakini pia tukumbuke baada ya March 2020 kwa Tanzania kuanza kuona dalili za wagonjwa wa COVID-19, ugonjwa ambao ulianzia nchini China mwishoni mwa mwaka 2019. Sasa kwenye upande wa Masters tuliona baadhi ya watu maarufu walipata ugonjwa akiwa mwana Efrey, lakini pia hata manager wa Diamond uh, Platinum Salamo Escape yana ni moja kati ya watu ambao walipata ugonjwa. Lakini pia kupitia ukurasa wa Instagram wa TZ Sweetheart Wema Sepetu yeye amepost video clip ambayo ameizungumzia COVID-19 na this message iko set kwa ajili ya Afrika nzima na si kwa Tanzania tu. Lakini kwenye video alikuwa na Mwana FA. Maneno mazuri ya kuwapa moyo wa Afrika ambayo imetoka kwa Wema pamoja na Mwana FA. So I want you to listen to the video here and tell you, tell me about your comments. So check it out here. Hello Africa. My name is Wema Sepetu. I'm an actress, a filmmaker and a TV personality. Today I am here with a small message about this great catastrophe that we are facing at the moment. Coronavirus is real guys and at some point it scared me a little bit. I came to my senses thinking that the world was coming to an end because of all these deaths that we are facing every day, seeing our loved ones drop every day and cases increasing day by day. It really scared me. But like they say, prevention is better than cure. So what we need to do to overcome the coronavirus is just take the precautions that are needed. Hello Africa. What's good? My name is Mwana a hip hop artist from Tanzania. Don't mind me Africa. I don't even go to barber shop no more. <laughs> Being a COVID-19 survivor myself, I obviously have some to say. And my message to my beloved Africa, to my fellow Africans during these very hard times is very simple. Take a very good care of yourself and your loved ones. Protect yourself and your people at all times. Don't lower your guards. And the easiest way to do that is by treating everybody else as infected. Keep your distance. Avoid unnecessary crowds. Wear masks. Sanitize or clean your hands with water and soap and don't touch your good face before you clean your hands etc etc. Bana tuendelee kufanya kazi lakini pia tuendelee kuchukua tahadhari juu ya COVID-19 kwa sababu ugonjwa sasa hivi kwa Tanzania tumeushindwa kwa kiasi kikubwa sana lakini pia tuendelee kufata vigezo na masharti ambayo vinatolewa na Wizara ya Afya ili kuweza kujikinga na maambukizi ya virusi vya corona ama COVID-19. So salute. Um seriously guys, kwanza nimechoka. It's exhausting. Eni ku report kila siku kuhusu vita ambavyo vinaendelea nchini Marekani on which vinaumiza kwa asilimia kubwa sana and vinaumiza na vinachosha anyway lakini we still have to report to you ndio kazi yetu ambayo inatueka hapa mjini kukupa wewe taarifa ambazo zinaendelea uh, na kuna mwanadada ambaye ni mwigizaji lakini pia ambaye ni mwanamziki na ni mtangazaji pia anaitwa Keke Palma. Uh, keke ni mtu maarufu sana nchini Marekani. Yeye aliamua kuweza kuungana na waandamanaji uh, nchini Marekani in Los Angeles. Alienda, alikuwa frontline and alipata nafasi ya kuweza kuongea na wanajeshi ambao walikuwaepo pale. Aliwaomba sana kwamba please join us and to join march with us yani tutembe tembeni na sisi kuonyesha kwamba mko pamoja na sisi mkatai hivi vitu ambavyo vinaongelewa na serikali kwamba serikali imetoa oda kwamba wa wa, wa, wa shoot watu ambao wana protest amwambia kama mko pamoja na sisi mnajua haki ni nini tembeni na sisi muweze kuungana na sisi ili muweze ku end the injustice ambayo inaendelea katika nchi ya marekani especially kwa watu weusi i want you first to check the video then tuendelee Starts, the shooting starts. Yeah, you have a president that. talking about the Second Amendment as a use for people yeah. to come out here and use firearms against the people that are protesting. Yeah. This is the messages that we're seeing. I don't know if you on social media because the news don't tell you everything, but you have to pay attention to what's going on, or else we're gonna we have a, a president that's trying to incite a race war, and when the borders are closed, we can't leave. You have people in here that need your help. This is when you and y'all y'all stand together with the community, with society, to stop the to stop. The governmental oppression. Period. I, 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 we need you. So, well, so then march with us. March beside us. You, you get your people. Y'all march beside us. March beside us. March beside us. Oh, yeah. Let the revolution be televised. March beside us and, and show us that you're here for us. Make history, hey. Make history with us. Hey. Hey. Let, 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 let's just do it. March with us. We start marching. And you march with us. Please. Just do it. Do it. Just a, come on. Be the change. Do it. Do it. Do it. Please do it. Please. We are the people. 
people march with us. Because I can't leave this post, I will march through this street with you guys to that next intersection. I don't know. I will march from this intersection to that intersection, but I have to control this area. Control. What is this the control man? March with us. It was send. It was send a huge message. We just march. Just march with us. March the whole round with us. March you and your men. Y'all protect us. Protect us. Y'all march with us. March around like we just did. Do that march with us. Y'all stand beside us. No, you don't because you the protector. So if you you. You can't patrol yourself. If it's you that's supposed to be patrolling us, then walk with us. I'm also protecting some of these businesses. Okay. 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 Uh, can you do I'm me a, a favor? Loss, man. Can you do me a favor? Can you take a kneel? Can you take a kneel? I don't know. They ain't enough for me. They ain't enough for me. They ain't enough for me. Let me see you take a kneel. Let me see you take a kneel. Thank you. Thank you. So kama unavyoona wanajeshi wameonekana wakiwa na mwelewa sana keke and of course hawakuweza ku, kuwafanya chochote watu ambao walikuwa wamezunguka pale na watu walioonekana kabisa wana wana chant as in kwamba yes please unganeni na sisi lakini wanajeshi wa Marekani wanapewa orders na serikali kama unavyofahamu hawezi kufanya kitu chochote kile na wakiamua kufanya kitu then obviously then you know it's about to go down if you know what i mean uh, lakini pia issue nyingine ambayo imeweza kutokea nchini Marekani ni kuhusu kuna wakapos wawili ambao ni vijana kama nilivyokuambia jana kuna curfew ambayo imewekwa yani kama kuna muda sahihi wa watu kutoka na kuendelea na shughuli zao alafu na kurudi nyumbani yani kuna ikifika mara baada ya mbili hamna mtu ambaye anatakiwa kuonekana na hiyo hiyo uh, curfew iliwekwa kwenye mji wa Atlanta na kuna hawa wapenzi wa, wa, wa wawili ambao ni vijana walikuwa narudi zao nyumbani na while, while they were on, on their way back gari lao likasimamishwa na polisi and of course walitumia force kubwa sana ukiangalia hii video as i'm talking to you right now itakuwa inakuumiza force kubwa sana ilitumika kuweza kuwatoa vijana hao wawili msichana alirushwa chini mwanaume alikuwa tased na umeme kuondolewa kwenye gari it was so stressful lakini uh, police officers wote sita ama police wote sita ambao walihusika katika tukio, tukio hilo wamekuwa placed on leave yani wako on leave hawako tena kazini for now and i think they'll be facing several criminal charges several criminal charges kwa kitendo hicho lakini pia uh, kuna video nyingine ambayo ina, ina go around right now kama nilivyokuambia kuna vitu vingi sana ambavyo vinaendelea katika maandamano haya kuna watu ambao watatu, watatumia nafasi hii kufanya vitu vyao na kuna watu ambao wanafanya hivi vitu kwa justice yani kupata justice for real na nilikwambia kuna white supremacist ambao wao ndio walianza kufanya looting kwanza kuvunja ma, mm, uh, ofisi za watu biashara za watu na kuiba nguo and what not lakini pia sasa hivi tuna report ambazo tumezipata ni kuhusu race ya walatino au mexicans these guys sasa hivi wameanza kwa takwa watu weusi na sio latino watu wa kawaida lakini ni gang members gang members and wameanza wameanza kabisa kwa takwa watu weusi wakiona watu weusi watu weusi wako katika kwenye neighborhood yao because it's uh, in the city of Chicago wakiona kwa kwenye neighborhood wanawafata wanawapiga na kuwaua kuna mbaba ambaye ameuliwa mbele ya mtoto wake akiwa kwenye gari it's so sickening and it's so terrifying kuweza kumua mtu akiwa mbele ya mtoto wake kwa hao gang members wa the latin uh, latin race wamamua kwa attack watu weusi wakisema kwamba mnakuja kuharibia miji yetu i thought All lives matter or black lives matter inakuwaje kwamba wa latino wanaanza kuwageuza watu wengine wakiwa nasema kwamba the government inajaribu kufanya hivyo kuhakikisha kwamba yani watu wa latino wanageukana na watu weusi iwe sasa latino faces blacks na isiwe watu weusi faces the government kuweza kutaka justice sijui hapo kama unaelewa kitu ambacho kinajibu kutendeka but we not so sure about that sijui kama police wataingilia kati kustopisha we not so sure lakini issue nyingine pia ni kwamba kuna video za mwanzo zinaonyesha mapolisi wanaacha tuseme bricks matofali madogo madogo wanayapanga wanayaacha na watu wanajiuliza ni kwa nini mapolisi wanakuja na magari fasta na kuacha hayo matofali je yeah, wanataka ili protesters wakija watumie hizo hizo bricks kuweza kurusha kwenye majengo kurushiana ili wawane we really not sure lakini kuna video zinaonyesha kabisa mapolisi wamejaza magari yao na hayo matofali alafu wanayaacha wana kwenye certain places ambazo protesters au wale watu ambao wanaandamana wanapita so things are not looking good kabisa na Trump kama kawaida he's on fire anataka governors wafanye kazi yao kuhakikisha kwamba polisi na wanajeshi wanaingia katika miji inakuwaje kwamba wanaruhusu watu weusi kuweza ku destroy now you can see those are not the words of the president tuna expect raisi lazima atasimama kwa ajili ya watu atoe tamko aseme justice itendeke au huyu mtu afunge au kuanzia leo hivi vitu viishe but then the president is being on a whole different level man sielewi lakini that's what's up right now ambacho kina that's what's up 
things that are going on in the United States of America. Videos ni nyingi za kuumiza wanawake kupigwa chini, kupigwa paka wanatoa damu for no reason at all. I think I'm tired of just speaking about this. Mungu tuangilie kati because it's too much. Sisi not tuusi so we understand the pain. Na kwa wasanii nchini Tanzania, I think it's time for you guys to speak up. Kuwepo pamoja na hao watu. So lazima kuandamana lakini kuonyesha, kuongea kuhusu jinsi ambavyo nafikiri. What do you think about the situation? Una platform kubwa. Then stand up and speak. Ili watanzania ambao hata waelewi basi waweze kuelewa kwa sababu wanakufuatilia. It's time to speak up. It's time to ask for justice and we're gonna get it no matter what. Up to the next one. Ebana Magic Fashion ni moja kati ya maicons wazuri sana wa mziki wa reggae kutoka Afrika ambaye anaishi Nigeria ama ni raia wa Nigeria ambaye amekuwa akifanya kazi za mziki wa reggae kwa muda mrefu sana na that's why ameonekana kama moja kati ya watu ambao wana rap Afrika vizuri sana kwenye mziki wa reggae. Lakini pia jamaa huyo amefariki dunia na taarifa za kifo chake zimetokea kupitia ukurasa wa Instagram wa meneja wake. And here is the video. Yes, it is true that the legend has gone to meet with the Lord. But this time, I want to say we should all celebrate him, his achievement. He has done a lot for Nigeria, Africa. And um, whatever the family decides, we get to you. This is all I have to say for now. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Lakini pia tukumbuke mwaka elfu mbili uh, Majek Fashek alitokea kwenye moja kati ya movie ambazo nafamika kama uh, Mark of the Beast kwenye Nollywood huko nchini Nigeria So licha kwamba ya alikuwa ni msani mzuri sana ambalo kwa naimba vizuri mziki wa reggae Lakini pia ni actor mzuri sana So R.I.P. to Majek Fashek